Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a Valentine's Day activity themed video, um, sharing all the things that I'm doing the week before Valentine's Day because it's on a Monday and then what I'll do on actual Valentine's Day. So if that sounds like a fun video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get into it. The first thing I wanna share is their Valentine's Day box gift exchange that I do. So basically each of my kids draw a name from a hat and then whoever's name they draw, they design a Valentine's Day box for that student. So they each fill out like an interest survey with like their favorite colors, games they like, movies they like, stuff like that. And then that student designs a box for them based on their interests. And then they'll bring them in, in like a trash bag so no one knows who made it. And then each day we'll reveal, um, we'll do like a guess who made your box sort of thing. And they take guesses to see who made their box. Um, it's really, really fun and it's sweet to see that they make a box for somebody else. They're not designing their own. Um, and this is like a few of the examples so they really enjoyed this project I'll have it linked below if you're interested last year I didn't get to fully do it because that's when the ice storm hit Texas so hopefully this year we're clear of the ice um, the next thing, I guess I'll jump into how I do our Valentine's Day party. So our party is in the afternoon um, after lunch, so it's not like our Christmas party. We don't do a whole big shindig, but I do an ice cream bar social sort of thing. So I'll just get like the um, big thing of Luba ice cream and then I'll set up like a little Sunday bar with M&Ms, caramel sauce, all the things. And then they can sit around and then we do our Valentine um gift exchange and then we'll watch like franklin's valentine or something it's very low-key it's not anywhere near as exciting and fun as the christmas party but they really enjoy it and it's just like a little happy valentine's day ice cream party <laughs> and then i always have them do some type of craft like once per month i try to let them do a craft that's like not educational but where we can all just sit on the carpet we sit around the carpet, we talk, and they just make a fun craft to decorate the room. So this is the one that we do for Valentine's Day. It's just a cute little bumblebee. And then I have fishing line hanging around my room with um, paper clips, and I'll just hang those up. It just adds a cute little decor element because I don't decorate a whole lot for Valentine's Day. Um, but that adds a nice touch for our party, and it's just a fun craft that we can sit around and cut and glue and talk. So moving on to, sorry if I'm talking like so fast, oh my gosh, okay, I'll chill a minute. <laughs> moving on to my favorite read alouds. So I don't really have that many read alouds for Valentine's Day. I mean, I'm a sucker for read alouds. If you know me, you know that. Um, but I have four that I really like to read the week before and then um, do a few fun activities with. So the first one is love monster this one is super cute and i always make an anchor chart that goes whoop, right there and we come up with character traits for the love monster and it's a super super cute story i want to get the love monster and the last chocolates last box of chocolates whatever it is um but i don't have that one i just have this one so we'll read this one um but a super cute story and then like i said we make our little anchor chart somebody loves you Mr. Hatch. This one is about a Mr. Hatch who gets a valentine that was not originally for him and so when the mailman comes to take it he gets super sad and thinks that nobody loves him. So then the whole town shows how much they love and care for him. So this one is super super sweet. There's a lot of activities um, that you could do for this one but this just teaches them a good lesson of making everybody feel loved and welcome. And then this one is super cute, The Invisible String. It's about a mom and her kids, and they talk about how no matter where they are, her love can reach her because they have an invisible string connecting them, the people in heaven, people they've lost, their pets, all kinds of stuff. So that one is super cute. And then last one, Love is My Favorite Thing. It's about a dog who gets into some mischief, but at the end of the day, her 
owner still loves her and she tries her best to be a really good dog. <laughs> so that's another really cute one. And then lastly, we do a bunch of Valentine's Day themed experiments. My kids think doing experiments is the coolest thing ever. So I try to incorporate them as often as I can. So one of the things is just conversation hearts and you take vinegar and baking soda and mix it in a cup. And then when you put the hearts in there, they kind of dance around. Um, another one is putting some hearts in vinegar, some hearts in, is it oil? And then some in water and then comparing like how they dissolve. It might be soda. I'm sure you can do it with anything, but basically putting them in three different liquids and comparing like how they dissolve. And then the last one is a Valentine's Day volcano. Um, it's not like one that like blows up all over the place, but it's like you make my heart erupt and it just kind of just like foams out. Um, but you can use, what did I use last year? I think I used vinegar and baking soda and then I put in a bunch of different like, um, like Valentine's Day sprinkles, like confetti. And so it, it looked really cool when it kind of blew up. And then the last thing is a few more activities is this candy heart graphing picture graphs and real life graphs are very important in kindergarten so we try to do real life graphs as often as we can so they'll get some of the conversation hearts and then they will all graph them and then analyze their data love that and then i also like to incorporate them writing their own poetry during valentine's day that's also one of our teaks and so I'll give them a poem of how I wrote it and then they can put in their own words and be their own poet. And then I also like to teach them how to write Valentine's Day cards, um, writing a letter, a header, all that kind of stuff. So I printed these few out so they can color the cover and then we can practice how to write a Valentine's Day letter and I'll link all this below if you're interested. But super super cute so that's pretty much all the activities that I do um so yeah I mean that's basically it so now I'll show you around the classroom of how I decorated like I said I don't do a lot for Valentine's Day mostly because like I don't have a lot and I really didn't see anything this year that I needed so I'll just show you the few things that I have done. I always do some type of garland so I have this heart one I think I got it at Dollar General last year for like a dollar and then I'll display the little B craft and then over by our calendar I just have this pom-pom garland from Dollar General and then I drew some hearts like I said nothing crazy and then our little farmers market I changed I got this cake stand at Target and then ordered these little cupcakes but they're cool because they're shapes so they have to like match the shape so those are fun. Added this towel from Target that has been out since Christmas. <laughs> and then just another little pom pom garland. And then I have this little tic tac toe that I got at Walmart. They still have it this year. And I have this shelf that I like to change the books on for the season. a themed pillow and I fill my basket with all of our themed books. Here's some of my other favorites. <laughs> and that's it. These two bulletin boards on the back of my shelves that I always change out as well. I'll show you these. So I always wear my don't bug me antennas. But then for each, ugh, I'm not going to be able to put these on. For each season, I change them out. So these are the ones for Valentine's Day. And these are from Walmart. And they light up somewhere. They light up. So if you need a new pair of don't bug me antennas, there you go. And that is a wrap on everything that I'll be doing for Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day week. Hopefully you got some ideas. If you did... Be sure to share with me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here. If you don't follow me there, you should follow me. I share a lot of other teacher-related things there. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.